Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning into another video of my life. And in this video, we're going to do an unboxing. Um, not much of an unboxing really, but just to show you this interesting product, which is a food thermometer. And I know that might seem really weird. <laughs> and it is, but I just thought it was really interesting. Uh, recently, what happened is um, I, was, I was cooking a barbecue and um, I undercooked the chicken a little bit. Uh, when I say undercook, what happened was um, the the meat around the bone seemed a little raw. I think it had reached the temperature because I think if there was any salmonella, anything else like that, you wouldn't have gotten sick if you um, ate that uh, piece of chicken um, drumstick, for example. But but it, it didn't reach the temperature for long enough for me to feel like it's completely cooked. So that was one problem. Then I a couple of days later, I cooked some steak. Steak was a little bit over rather than under, um, you know, so it got a little bit chewier, chewier than I would like. And I just thought, you know what? I really need a meat thermometer. And this video is purely <laughs> made so that someone out there might find it helpful, really, and, and just how cheap these meat thermometers are. So nonetheless, I'm going to show them to you. And we'll also test it out just to see a £2.95 thermometer. Is it really, which comes with the battery, mind you, um, is it really worth uh, the, the money that you pay for it? And doesn't act, does it actually work? So here, here it is. Here's the item. Okay, so you can have a look. I'll turn off the light because there's plenty of light around, ambient light. So it works from minus, 30, minus 50 degrees to up to 300 degrees Celsius. And you can see loads of different kind of purposes uh, or rather applications for this particular thermometer so they're, they're kind of ad advertising it as a food thermometer but at, guess what you can use it for other things as well as how they're pitching it and it's two pounds 95 of course it's made in china um you know uh, you know god bless them making all these things that are quite useful to us for hardly any money at all so there we are it tells you all the parameters and the specifications at the back as to how reliable these things are and whether anyone would actually use these to do some serious business like use it in a restaurant or something like that I do not know but I think for my home purposes and I do like my cooking and to be fair with you I, I kind of reasonably know what I'm doing so I even without this I'm, I'm fine but just those couple of examples that I gave you uh, sometimes makes you think if you're thinking of uh, cooking on a barbecue and you don't really know um, the exact temperature inside it's, it's not as easy to control of course as you can in an oven or a on a, on a pan or uh, in a pot, for example. So all of those other methods of cooking are straightforward, really. And you, you can cook something quite easily by just sticking to the timings of the, of the meat. Uh, even if you buy some meat from the supermarket, um, you know, there, there'll be instructions on there to say for every kilo of meat, you cook it for 160, 180 degrees for X amount of time. And then you, you do another 30 minutes before and after and that kind of thing. So you have a rough idea of cooking temperature. So it's rarely ever. This is why I've never had a th cooking thermometer to this day, because you've never needed it. Even if you cook something like a cake, um, you know, you can, you can stick in a skewer like a like a wooden skewer um, and, and see how many crumbs are stuck at the end of the skewer. And you can find out whether the cake is cooked or not, how moist it is and so on. So so again, another reason why you don't really, I guess, need this, but. But I found myself needing it, and so I thought I got it. And two pound ninety-five delivered to your door for free. I mean, come on! I will leave uh, affiliate links below uh, in the description. Hopefully, you find that helpful, and it does support the channel. Obviously, uh, none of that makes any difference uh, to my opinions about a particular product and why I share my views with you on it. So, uh, without further ado, let's do an unboxing. I know this is quite an un unconventional unboxing, really, and. I was kind of doubtful. Do I even unbox this? Is this worth unboxing? I don't know. But I thought, you know what? It might be might be useful to someone out there. Um, so let's get this opened up. So you get this cardboard background. And you can see what model it is and JR1 and things like that. And it does come with a battery. I mean, this is, you know, £2.95. <laughs> and it comes with a battery. It's just crazy. All right, I, I didn't quite know what this was, and I have to say, well, this isn't quite as described because in the pictures, I think they they were showing it in a, in like a little test tube -y kind of case, and I think what we've got instead is this pen-like thing. And the only way I can figure out as to how it probably works is uh, this goes in there, and then you stick it in your pocket. I don't know. I mean, is that what happens? It doesn't go any further than this inside, because so I'm not really sure how. Oh, okay, that's uh, 
that's just come off so i'm not i'm not sure exactly what the purpose of this is to be honest with you what what it's meant to do or whether it's supposed to go all the way in here like that oh, okay yeah maybe, maybe oh that, that that makes sense okay so it's supposed to go all the way in there and then it goes into your lab coat or pocket or whatever you know, i guess that's more useful than the test tube case so i actually prefer this and it's colors match and stuff like that so compared to what what was there in the picture this is uh better i would say actually design wise of course when you pull it off this comes off with it but i'm guessing you just hold it like this pull it out and nice and easy um i i would imagine there is a vent here so that uh the the steel kind of cools down on its own if it is hot and nonetheless you know i guess you don't poke yourself either so yeah this is nice you yeah, know nice um I, if i nice little uh, grip there as well actually i don't mind it i'm gonna put this aside now so turn it on I'm guessing at this point it should show you the room temperature or something else like that or the last temperature reading uh, minimum maximum I'm not sure what it does I mean it tells you in the back at the back what functions it's got and what to click for how long and so on and what it does but we're gonna test it out now okay we're gonna test it out um, it does your um, Oh, you can see it's starting to go down, you see. So the last temperature measurement was higher, and now you can see it's going down to room temperature. And I think if I was to hold my hand against it, my hands are quite cold, by the way. But if I was to hold my hands against it, I'm sure it'll kind of start to go up again. And there, there we are, it's trying to go up um, in line with my body temperature. And if I, if I let this go, I think it would start to go down again. You can see there's a bit of delay there. It still thinks that it's going up, still going up. And is it going to go down anytime soon? Not sure, but okay, now it's going. So you can see there's a bit of a delay between when it detects the temperature and, and when it starts to register. Um, of course, that, that's where the £2.95 comes in. I'm guessing some uh, extreme thermometers, which cost a lot more, probably give you an instant reading. Uh, and that is just purely a guess. So to test this out further, what I have here is some water. Okay, now you don't know just by looking at this water, whether it is warm, whether it's cold or what's going on with that. And uh, well, we'll soon find out whether it's a hot uh, little glass cup of water or a cold cup of water. So you can see this is 25.5 now, four, three. And just so you know, I, I, it, it does do it in Fahrenheit as well. So 77.5, 77.3 and so on. Uh, of course, I think in Celsius uh, and metrics in general, rather than imperial measurements, but um, there you go, it's doing its job. You know, the, the room temperature is probably, I'm, I'm guessing, 20, 22 degrees, and it's going to make its way down to that slowly and steadily. But what we're going to do is we're just going to, first of all, see if I can touch the outside of the glass and, and we can see a temperature increase. Let's see that what happens there. Oh, it's going up. So you can see it's going up fairly quickly. And we'll see what the difference is on the outside of the glass versus the inside, which is the water. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Oh, so you can see this is uh, making a difference very quickly. I'm not sure the technology that this uses to uh, make this happen, but uh, I'd be I'd be very interested in that actually. If you know how this uh, thermometer actually works and how it differs compared to say a body temperature th thermometer which uses a mercury etc., uh, you know, uh, put a comment in the uh, put a comment below the video and see. Um, I'll look into it to see how it works. I've just noticed something here. The finishing here isn't quite right. You can see that so it's not quite smooth and things like that. Anyway, getting distracted. So here we have, okay, 33.9, eight and so on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so of course let's take it down. Let's put it inside because I'm sure inside is probably warmer. So, okay, so I've stuck it in. Ooh, 40, 45. 47. Now I have to say I have two of these. I actually bought two of these. The other one I um, just grabbed in my hand and someone else's hand and just to see how warm it was. And of course the human body temperature I think is around 36 degrees and I found this to measure it around 35 or so. So um, of course your hands aren't as warm as say um, under your armpit or under your tongue and things like in your mouth. Those areas are probably much warmer. You can see this is 56 degrees now. Um, those areas are probably much warmer. So I think at the very least, it might be a degree off here and there. Not that 
I, I can be sure of that. Uh, but I'm quite sure that this is accurate, actually. I'm, I'm reasonably sure this is accurate. So here it's reaching 55.9. It reached 56 for a second. And of course, over time, it should go down because this should be cooling down the water. So can I put my, I can put my finger in. Oh, and then it's too, too warm for me to touch. Okay, and that's about right. I don't think we should be able to hold our fingers in for too long if the temperature is 55.6 degrees. I think it takes about maybe 10 seconds, maybe more than that to uh, uh, get a little bit of a burn on your skin and that kind of thing. But there we are, 55 degrees. It seems about right because I can't quite hold. I think if my, oof, if I had some meat in there for, for a little while, I think it would start cooking, to be honest. Um, although the cooking temperature, I think, is about 60 degrees. Internal temperature is what you want it to reach. But yeah, that's quite warm. So surprisingly accurate for the price. You know, two pounds ninety-three pence for this thermometer, and it's su surprisingly right. Right, and uh, it is going down over time, especially if I hold it. I'm sure it'll go down even faster as the heat moves from the glass into my body, uh, via my blood vessels, etc. But uh, all that's interesting. So I hope you found this video helpful in some way. And if you are looking for a thermometer, you can use the link in the description you can buy this one or after clicking the link in the description you can find some other one like wireless ones and fancy uh, food thermometers if you really want to but i was just very happy to see that you can buy such uh, so you know sort of sophisticated technology really i mean 30 years ago this you and i probably wouldn't have something like this and um uh in, in our home especially not for two pounds uh 95 and you can see how the temperature is dropping fairly quickly as well for those who have other food thermometers, I mean, it might be interesting to see whether your thermometer re responds just as quickly or uh, whether it's slower or faster. It might be interesting. Um, should I open this at the back? So I'm going to turn this off now just for a second. So we turn it off. Yeah, there we are. And then this part here has the battery inside. Okay. And there we are. That's the battery. Okay comes with the battery as well isn't that cool so put the battery back in close it down and oh the grooves aren't probably okay there we are good and after you put the battery in it automatically turns on okay that's fine um, I can see there's a thin film of a sticker or something on top of the screen the buttons feel perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're rubbery as well. As you can see, they've got a bit of flex to them. Perfectly, perfectly fine piece of uh, equipment. Nothing wrong with it at all. And of course, when you're storing it away, you put it in like this so the tip doesn't damage itself. And then you store it away. You know, uh, put it somewhere like that or just put it on a desk or what have you. But thank you very much for watching and tuning into my life. I really appreciate the likes, comments and the subscribes. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.